Hi, um, a very short video to explain to the thousands of people that email us regularly um, and say they haven't been able to turn off their TRV when they're replacing a radiator. So the first thing we're going to do is have a look at a TRV, that's a thermostatic radiator valve. Okay, we'll take that off. Fortunately none of this is connected so I didn't have to turn the water off. This is a TRV. There are several types and several manufacturers of TRVs and it is as well to look for one with a replaceable head. Um, the TRV section, the actual thermostat, can be unscrewed from the valve itself and that shows the plunger of the valve. When this plunger is fully depressed, now they're very very hard to press in by hand, if you can't do it then use something a little bit harder but when that valve is fully depressed the valve is off I don't know if the camera can see inside of that valve so the valve is operated um, by the thermostat now the thermostat has several settings on they all do normally they start at five four go, go right the way down to what is a frost setting um, and you can see that by the little frost symbol there I'm hoping the camera can you nod if you can see that's great um, and this one goes down to zero now some of them don't go down to zero so be aware of that have a look for one that goes down to zero and then you can be sure that this section here has depressed this plunger right to the bottom and turned the valve off People don't realise that a thermostatic radiator valve isn't operated by the temperature of the water, it's operated by the temperature of the room. And if that room decides that it's going to be a bit cold, the valve senses that and opens up to warm the radiator up, depending on the setting that you've put it on. So if you turn it right down to number two, for example, that may turn the radiator off at, at that particular time. Then you take the radiator off. If it's off overnight, for example, and the room gets cold, the room will tell the thermostat that it needs a little bit of heat. The thermostat will open, the radiator valve will open and flood your kitchen. It's happened hundreds of times to hundreds of people and they've all with emailed us. Okay, so that's uh, hence this video. So, the thermostat screws onto the top of the valve and to screw it on properly you'll need to set it to number five because the further down the plunger the harder it is to screw on so that's on number five fully open and that screws on nicely okay so if you're going to take a radiator off and you've got a thermostatic valve when you buy your thermostatic valve look for a valve that comes with a replacement cap and a lot of them do so you take the thermostat section off and you put the cap on it's almost like a, a lock shield cap and by turning that tighter and tighter and tighter that closes the valve fully so that operates as a thermostat on setting zero and then you know for a fact that that valve is fully closed you can take the radiator off with no danger of put it of letting water through the system when the room calls for more heat so that's how a thermostatic radiator valve works look for one with a replacement cap look for one that goes all the way down to zero and then you, it's belt and braces you can be absolutely sure then that if you need to turn your radiator off for any reason that you're not going to let any water through when the room calls for more heat diy doctor how a thermostatic radiator valve works